Um, hi, everybody. Uh, I would like to. Uh, it's great to have Olga tonight with us. Um, tonight's topic will be on painting underwater, true or fake. Our unique artist, Olga Belka, reveals the secret. So now I'd like to pass over this to over to Olga Belka, our unique ocean artist, to share more about her secret. Over to you, Olga. Hello. Hi, everybody. So my name is Olga Bielka. I am underwater artist. And this means I really paint my artworks uh, completely from beginning to the end underwater. And also in mass media, you can uh, see uh, information that I'm uh, the only underwater portraitist in the world. As I know, it's true because I don't know anybody else who is painting portraits underwater. Uh, so, uh, guys, it's a pity I don't see you. I don't see your eyes. Uh, I wanted to speak with you face to face, but I want to see your reaction. I want to see your faces. Uh, please, if you watch me on Facebook, leave comments with smiles, with all your reactions, with all your questions. Uh, in the beginning, I will talk a bit about underwater art, and then in the end, I can answer your questions. So feel free to comment to ask questions, and of course, press like. <laughs> so let's start. Uh, painting underwater, true or fake? <laughs> Usually, people ask me uh, two questions. Why? I paint underwater and how I do it. Let's start with this. Why and how? Why? Okay, guys, most of you, I think, are divers. So you know how amazing it's underwater. It's, it's ever some. And I think all of you go diving because of this, because of these feelings, because... So, um, Every time when I go diving, I wanted to fix it. I wanted to capture these emotions. And I think even if you are professional photographers, you notice that it's a bit different what you see in real and what your uh, pictures show. But if you are just a just diver and you take your simple camera underwater and you make video of everything you see and then, oops, what is it? You go up, you try to watch your video. What is it? It was much more amazing, much more colorful. And this happened with me also. That's why I wanted to paint underwater to fix what I really see. And actually, my artworks are the most true, even more true than your eyes. Because, for example, I go 20 meters and... Um, you know, 20 meters, we cannot see red color. And so, for example, I see brown uh, jellyfish, I don't know, fish, uh, anything, coral. And I take same color paint. And I start 
start walking with this. And when I go up, I notice, wow, it was red. So really, I see that it's red color. So real color of this fish or coral was really red, or more bright. That's why my artworks are so uh, colorful. But it's not the main thing. Another thing, uh, I am a professional diver. Uh, by the way, I have my own dive shop in Thailand, in Phuket. So guys, after this lockdown, <laughs> you are welcome. All of you welcome to Phuket to go diving with me. So I'm a professional diver. And uh, of course, I can show, I can introduce underwater world to everybody to go diving. But there are some people who cannot go diving. They're scared or they have some problems with health. And I wanted to share my underwater world with them. That's why I start painting under the water. And it was funny because uh, my first uh, buyers were not divers at all. They, they were guys who were scared of diving. But it's also not the main reason. The main reason is that I am artist. You know, artists are crazy. If they see something um, wonderful, amazing, they want to fix it on canvas. <laughs> so I feel same when I was uh, enjoying diving, it was for me not enough. I wanted to fix it. And you know why real artists like to work from nature? Because when they do it, they capture their emotions. It's from soul, from heart. And uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the main reason I wanted to share my own vision of underwater world with all of you guys. And uh, so I started to, uh, I tried to find out how can I do it. So now we're speaking about how. Uh, I spent, I think, one year trying different stuff, you know, normal canvas from art shop, normal uh, brushes, normal easel, normal uh, paints. This all doesn't work. Uh, so I had to mix something, I had to try different things, I had to develop my own technology. And now you can see what I managed to do. Uh, so what I will not say that I'm first who tried to paint underwater, but this is really my own technology. This is what can I do with all small details. If you see it closer, you can see my fishes are smiling. This is because my own technology, how can I paint? And of course, there were two, there were three <laughs> uh, main uh, things. First one, uh, it has to be uh, environmental friendly, of course. Everything has to be environmental friendly. Then it has to be easy to walk underwater. Everything I need to use underwater, it's <laughs> everything very different, you know. And another one, it has to be stable because if you, uh, spend a lot of time for painting and you will lose it. You lose it in one week. Of course, um, no reason to paint. So now my artworks are very stable. It's for, <laughs> for coming generation, it will be for hundreds of years, it will be okay. And also usually people ask how long does it take for one artwork? In the beginning, you could see one fish. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> so in the beginning, you could see short video about how I was painting one fish. But it was very fast video. Uh, it was 10,000 times faster than uh, normal. So really, it was something like one hour. One hour, it was just one simple Nemo fish with animals. Of course, if we are speaking about big artworks with many details, it cannot be for one dive. So every dive, I stay underwater, even if it's, especially if it's shallow, I stay maybe two or even three hours, maximum three hours, because usually I dive with one tank. So, and I need from four to six dives usually for this. This means that every day, for example, if I have started uh, artwork and artwork today. So tomorrow morning I will come to the same place to continue it and again stay two or three hours. Usually divers ask, oh, so long, but real artists ask, oh, so fast? Because you know, normal 
artists usually they spend uh, they can mm, um, paint one artwork even for half year and still not finish. Uh, okay, maybe they are a little bit lazy, but anyway, it's normal to work for a long time with one art with one painting. So I have to work very fast, very fast. So about true or fake, first one, if someone seen that he is painting underwater and said, okay, uh, I spent one day 40 minutes and what you see is big and with all details, big artwork. This is fake. I saw this many times, what they're doing. They just want, I don't know, for promotion or what is the reason why they try to cheat us. So they go underwater with canvas. They start doing something. They take selfie, selfie, selfie for Instagram, I don't know. And then they go up and finish in a normal workshop at home. So I don't know why they're cheating, but <laughs> usually I can feel that this artwork is not made from nature. And you will also feel, you cannot explain, but you feel, you see that how I like this painting or I don't like. It's like, it's okay, but nothing special. And if you like, if you see the soul in this painting, this means it, usually it is painted from nature. So, <laughs> And now I can also read your comments, so uh, continue sending me messages. I also read it. Uh, so, about true or fake, of course, if you see stories like this, of course it's fake. But about fishes, usually people ask, how can you paint these fishes, for example, this one, butterfly fishes or angel fishes, so they are uh, swimming so fast. Okay, guys, they're swimming so fast, but they can go round, round for a long time. Usually, uh, I start with some fishes, and if this fish leave me, I can continue with corals, because anyway, tomorrow I'll come back to same to same place. So, okay, if I have no... Um, if this fish doesn't come and doesn't come again, so, okay, what can we do? Uh, I can just remove this fish and uh, paint some corals and, or another fish. But what I like, Nemo fishes stay all the time same place. Turtles, if they are not scared, they can stay same place. Uh, scorpion fishes, stone fishes, Mori eels, it depends, but also can. My favorite models, Lion fishes. Oh, I am loving them because they always pose me. They always come and show me their nice body. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Really, they're my favorite models. So, uh, what else? Uh, of course, if you see someone who said, yes, I painted underwater, for example, dolphins, uh, usually it's not true because you know how dolphins behave. Usually dolphins just passing by. Same story usually with mantas, same story usually with whale sharks. Actually, I dream, you know, place uh, Cebu in the uh, Philippines. I dream to go there because they are feeding whale sharks. So you can come and you can really stay and paint there. But if it's somewhere, I don't know, in Maldives and whale shark, mm, usually just passing by. So it's no time to paint underwater. So usually it's, again, usually it's fake. <laughs> so that's why you can see many small fishes, but still no mantas, no whale sharks, no dolphins. But uh, how usually fishes behave? Now I will try to show uh, uh, in a few minutes I will try to show you some videos from my screen, but now I wanted to tell you one funny story. Once I was painting as usual underwater and my assistant suddenly showed me, don't move, stop, don't move. I didn't understand, so I continued painting, I didn't understand. And in a few minutes, he showed me, look there. And Total was sitting next to me maybe in half meter. And
and sitting like this and watching me painting. It was so cute. Oh my God. Really. And many fishes trying to pose me and many fishes and many uh, uh, and turtles and more eels, they come to take a look what I'm doing there. And because I'm not moving, it's really underwater harmony. Now I'll try uh, to show you some video. Please, okay, hope this will be. So tell me guys, can you see something or not? Okay. <laughs> so I hope you can see some video. Show, text me, can you see video or not? So this is, I hope you see, this is Mori Eel coming and <laughs> trying everything. You see, Mori Il is trying to find any hole first in my paints, then in my body. So I was so glad that this time I was not in bikini. You see, check every, every hole. I was so scared. So these Mori Eels came all the time, all the time. It was so funny. And all fishes come usually to check what I'm doing. So I want to show you some more videos. Now, when you watch video, I will tell you some more about my underwater artworks. This is not only fishes and corals. This can be also underwater stories with some equipment. Of course, about true or fake. Of course, my equipment is fake. It's plastic. <laughs> but I really painted underwater. This is video about how I painted um, artwork named the sword in, sto in the stone. You can find the story, it's old British uh, fairy tale about uh, the sword that was in the stone and only the king could uh, remove it, could take it from the stone. Of course, I did not put it really in the stone, it was in between, it was between corals, fix it with uh, some, <laughs> some special stuff. So we have no time to watch this video, all this. I show you what was in the end. You see all fishes around, all fishes all the time around. So what was in the end? And these also many fishes came to watch was what I was doing. Okay, the end looked like this. <laughs> and not only um, this I paint, I also, as I mentioned, can paint underwater portraits. Why I say this is portrait? Uh, guys, what you think about portraits? What you think portrait is? Usually, now, if we say portrait photo, we think that it is uh, just um, um, something like face or upper part of body. But actually, uh, if, you, if you visit any museum, if you see what uh, kind of portrait, well, maybe two, three centuries ago, it could be full body portrait, it's portrait with all surrounding, it could be family portrait, uh, because all what is around you uh, is also important to show character. And underwater portrait is this kind of uh, portrait. And actually, it's amazing because you see your... Uh, it's natural buoyancy and all clothes and uh, hair and everything is really flying. So this I teach my underwater model. Uh, how it works? Usually I speak with my underwater model uh, before and I try to understand character. I try to work together with my underwater model. Uh, for example, this one, uh, you see, uh, this lady, I asked her just to sit underwater and just try to relax for meditation. And this artwork uh, called Harmony, because I will show it later, a lot of fishes came and were around us, even stone fishes came. <laughs> 
could be dangerous, but stonefishes behave like cats. So everything was so cute. Everything was like really harmony. And when I ask what my underwater models feel like, they say uh, it's uh, amazing. It's something very special. It's something um, unbelievable uh, because they can see themselves like from point from new side. <laughs> this is just we were out of time because this guy he was national he is national dive league president and he was just out of time so we started in a swimming pool. So if you want to try yourself as a as an underwater model, you can do this. Everybody can do this. So I will stop with this, and we have not so not enough time. So I'll show you. Oh, this is real. This is harmony. You see, many fishes come. So one more thing that you can do with me if you are not interested to be a model, and maybe you are, it's not enough for you just to watch. You can try to paint underwater. This is one of my students. Actually, he's designer. Uh, he tried to paint underwater with me, and he said it was a very special experience. So, guys, I will try to come back to you. I think we don't have enough time for questions. So, <laughs> hello again, guys. If you can see me, I hope so. So about uh, some questions, about some questions. Uh, so of course we have not enough time, so you can see more information. Uh, you can find more videos on my YouTube. Sorry guys, I am so lazy. <laughs> I have terabytes of um, videos, but I need to make movies. So I have some movies on my YouTube channel. You can find all information on my website. You can subscribe to YouTube. You can follow me in uh, Facebook to get more information. And about questions. So I got some questions in chat and some questions in Facebook before. The questions, how to buy. Okay, guys, about how to buy. <laughs> Again, I am so lazy. On my website, I have just a few artworks. I have just a few artworks. But I promise you, I swear, in one week, I will finish my new website. It will be same website, but it will be new design, and there will be online shop. And there, you can see everything. I have, I think, around 60 artworks. And half of them are available for sale, and uh, another half is available only copies, printed copies. Printed copies are cheap, <laughs> originals are expensive. But anyway, now if you are interested, post open. Uh, so we, you can buy it anytime and I can send it. And I hope soon I can invite you to normal, like, know where it will be. So, what are the questions? Uh, someone asked about business. What kind of business can I do? Um, okay, if you're owner of dive center or uh, you work with tourists, you see any kind of business. So I'm open for any business. If you just have your small diving center somewhere in a in a in the hot sea, I don't like to dive in cold water. So any hot area, any hot water, I can come to you, you provide me diving and I can uh, make some promotion for you. And also we can organize uh, lessons uh, for your students. And also if you have place to exhibit my art codes, you can invite me just for exhibitions. Of course, you will get uh, good benefits for this because actually what I hate, I don't like to organize anything, guys. I like, I like to paint, I like to speak with you, but I don't like organizing uh, exhibitions. <laughs> so if, if you can manage this, of course, um, it will be good business for both of us. Uh, do we have more time or not? Uh, 
I think <laughs> a good message that we need to finish soon. Occasion, what was uh, how much? <laughs> how much? Oh, different price. So just you can tell me you can, what you like, and I will I will say the price. And mm, ah, and about environmental friendly. Sure, it is. Sure, it is. Of course, everything, everything what I have is environmentally. I mean, when I find place to paint, it's only sandy area without any life, without any corals, so I can sit in safe place. So what else? Uh, of course, my. Um, Paints everything is mixed with water at all. So, <laughs> of course, if if it mixed with water, how can I paint underwater? <laughs> so it's just table. It's take. Of course, I don't let fishes try to eat it. Of course, when I finish my work, I take everything with me back to the beach. Mm. So, but when I paint, of course, it's environmental friendly, 100%, I promise. And I think we are out of time almost. So, guys, thank you very much. I was so happy to talk. To you. I hope next time we can meet normal face to face somewhere. I hope it will be in edX in Singapore, in China, in India, or in any other country. Guys, see you. All right, um, thank you, Olga, for your time tonight. And um, we hope to see Olga and Will person, um, hopefully sometime soon, and um, continue to, to support the course and um, be interested in all the um, art. Um, it's not easy to come out with an art piece, so please support all the artists out there. Thank you, Olga, for your time. And your presentation is very wonderful and interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Olga. Bye.
Mermaid Federation International is dedicated to promote mermaid activities, develop mermaid safety standard, and raise ocean conservation awareness. MFI has four missions. Raise awareness to the ocean conservation, promote mermaid activities and certification system, research and advise safety guidance, and develop scientific mermaid training and technical standards. MFI is an organization for all the mermaids in the world with members from various countries. MFI development includes mermaid performance, mermaid instructors, and mermaid development center. MFI education system includes four major courses, M0 mermaid experience, M1 basic mermaid, M2 advanced mermaid, M3 master mermaid. 